What's the best way to learn JavaScript programming? If you are new to coding, getting started can be really frustrating. Sometimes it's hard to understand why even the most straightforward code won't work or works in a way you don't understand. Getting both the syntax and the logic correct at the same time can be a real challenge. This is particularly true for JavaScript and even more so for JavaScript inside Hype, where your code needs to interact with those parts of Hype exposed in its programming interface or API. Just imagine if there was a safe space where you could learn to code more quickly, experiment without consequences, get help when you need it, and immediately implement what you learn in real-world programs. The Hype Code Playground is that safe space. In the playground, you can learn to write JavaScript code for Hype using visual or drag-and-drop programming. But why do you even need a playground? And why is it better to learn JavaScript with visual programming rather than simple text-based coding if that's the end goal anyway? Let's consider the case for visual programming first. Visual coding is easier and less frustrating. It lets you see the big picture more clearly, and best of all, it's quicker. It's easier because code generation in the playground is automatic. As you assemble different code blocks, the textual equivalent is instantly created or updated in the adjacent code pane. This means your program or code snippet won't fail because you mistyped a variable name or omitted a closing parenthesis. It also means that the code is correctly formatted and easier to understand. That's all handled automatically. Visual coding is less frustrating because many errors are caught or avoided. Behind the scenes, there are checks conducted that eliminate the possibility of logical errors. The playground won't let you connect code blocks together in a nonsensical way. This is particularly important as the complexity of code increases. For example, when you want to incorporate Hype API functions that include long lists of parameters or options. With visual coding, the overall code structure is also more transparent. It is much easier to see the big picture when individual code sections are reduced to simple visual blocks. And finally, visual coding is quicker. There is less typing to be done, less searching online for the correct syntax, and you can do more powerful things with less experience. In fact, if you like the visual design or no-code approach of Hype itself, you'll likely be excited to try visual coding as well. How would you feel if you were one small step away from getting your program to work, but your code was failing, and you couldn't determine why or even know how close to a solution you were? Or worse, you have code that works fine, but just not in Hype. That's one significant advantage of the playground. It can help get you over that last hump. How? Well, firstly, it's designed to be a learning environment rather than a production tool. Experimentation and learning by trial and error are encouraged. You are free to experiment with different syntaxes, program logic, and data structures, knowing you can't break anything. What's more, the playground is doing type checks and assembling the code correctly in the background. It's like having a teacher or mentor looking out for you. The playground, and the code it generates, are specifically designed to work in Hype and its API. This makes the playground different from other coding platforms. While many JavaScript courses you might find online can be helpful, they don't have this capability. There are even pre-built code samples in the playground that show you how to solve common programming challenges that you might encounter in Hype. You can customize these examples for your own purposes and then import them directly back into Hype. 